Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Just want to cover off a couple of things uh, that changed with 1.8 with regards to the capture um, options screen and capture filters. So first things first, the uh, screen looks slightly different here. You can see your interfaces here. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, I can click on an interface, for example, Wi-Fi adapter, and if I want, I can actually hold my control key down. This is for Windows, and I can select another interface. So I can actually capture from two interfaces um, at the same time. Uh, it's kind of neat. The other thing is if I want to do a capture filter for example I can just select my gigabit ethernet adapter come over to capture options and there's my capture options screen again this looks a little different there was some extra stuff at the top in the previous version uh, this was basically those values that were at the top um, now they're all just summarized here and, and I'll show you how to edit that in a moment so for example uh, the other thing that I noticed let me just back up a second the other thing that I noticed is that my Wi-Fi adapter now says Wi-Fi adapter whereas the previous version of Wireshark said Microsoft and uh, that helps a lot just to identify the the correct interface so if I want to configure a uh, capture filter for my Broadcom gigabit adapter I just come on over here and double click and there is some of the extra stuff that used to be at the top of the screen for your capture options and all you want to do is if you want to create a capture filter just come on down here and, and for example, I'll do host uh, the techfirm.com. If you notice, the background went green. Um, some people correct me; it's not green; it's sage. <laughs> uh, and that's obviously checking your syntax. And if I was to do a typo, for example, a double T on host, and now it's gone pink or salmon. And there you go. So that's how you know if the syntax is correct. The other thing that I read uh, is that with this new version 1.8, you can have different capture filters for different interfaces so uh, again really helpful to organize your filters that way and that's pretty well it so hope that helps have a good day bye for now